Hello Synapse CICD fans, my name is Rui Cunha and I'm a support escalation engineer on the Azure Synapse Analytics team. Welcome to this video series on Synapse CICD. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how you can deploy your workspace artifacts to a different environment. This time, our workspace will be integrated with the GitHub repository. We will be covering data plane related operations only. So any control plane related resource like a SQL pool or a Spark pool will be out of scope. Our use case today is very simple. We are working on a multiple environment scenario and we have finished the development in our lower environment and we want our features to be tested in a different environment, in UAT for example. Our workspace is integrated with the GitHub repository and we are required to set up a new CI-CD workflow to deploy these artifacts to this UAT environment. Let's watch the video and see how you can achieve this. Here's my GitHub repository and I will show you how you can use a GitHub action to deploy the Synapse workspace artifacts to a target environment. You can think about the action as a Azure DevOps task. They run, they are triggered by release pipelines or YAML pipelines. And in this GitHub context, these actions, they are triggered by workflows. So you need to set up a workflow first to run these actions. If you take a look at the Microsoft public documentation, you will see a few input that are required to be created as repository secrets. So this is the first thing that we need to do is to create these secrets. I will also create a secret for the subscription ID and for the tenant ID not to expose these values here in the, in the task. So let's start by creating the service principle that will run this GitHub action and this workflow. So I will go to my Active Directory and I will create a new app registration. I will register this application. I will copy this client ID. This client ID will be used here. I have to create this client secret. You must generate here uh, under the certificates and secrets a new client secret for your app GitHub secrets. I will add this secret. And now what you need to do is to copy this value. So I have now my secret value, my application ID. I'm pasting here on a notepad to keep these values. And once you create this app registration, what we are going to do in the repository, I'm going to settings secrets and variables and create my action secrets. So first secret to create will be my client ID. That is my application ID and paste it here. Next will be my client secret. That's my secret value. I will add it here as well. My subscription ID and my tenant ID. After creating your app registration, there's a few things that you need to do. At Azure RBAC level, you need to grant this service principle the contributor role in your resource group or your workspace. A second action that you need to, to take is to grant this service principle the Synapse Administrator RBAC in Synapse Studio. So let's start with the first action. Go to my target workspace and let me go to the access control, grant the contributor role to this service principle. So this is Azure RBAC. Now, second level of permissions, UAT workspace, access control. Let me add the Synapse administrator to my Git service principle. The Synapse Administrator will be 
necessary in case you wanted to deploy the managed private endpoints as well. If not, the Synapse Artifact Publisher RBAC is sufficient. Now, once these steps are completed, let me set up my workflow. My goal is to run this workflow whenever the ARM templates are generated into the Workspace Publish branch. When I create my GitHub action here, I will start by setting up a workflow. And if you see, this workflow is being created in the main branch. I have already here ready my YAML code prepared and I want this workflow to be triggered whenever there is a push on my workspace publish. So I will name this as my workspace deployment and I will commit this. Look at the path here dot git up and then workflows. Now what I'm going to do is to switch to my publish branch that I don't have yet here because I need to create this branch by publishing my changes and publishing just this SQL script to generate the ARM templates and create the workspace publish branch. So I'm expecting this branch now to appear here. If we click here, you will see the workspace publish now. And under this folder, my workspace name, I will have the two ARM templates, the template for workspace JSON and the template parameters for workspace JSON. What I want to do is to set up my workflow here and I'm going to have a file and this file will be created under the dot github slash works uh, workflows sorry workflows and then workspace deployment yaml commit this change if you go now to actions you will see this workflow that is running now in the workspace publish branch now if you click on the workflow run you will see the logs so the workspace deployment task is running and it's deploying the artifacts here it is our SQL script and the workspace deployment task is finished I can go now to my UAT environment and here it is my SQL script that's been deployed. If I go here to my dev environment and just for the sake of time I will commit directly here in my main branch just to create a second SQL script, commit my changes and publish these changes as this will generate my new ARM templates and when these ARM templates are generated to the workspace publish branch it here under the summary and go back to the workflow runs here it is my second run that was triggered by the generation of the arm templates into the workspace publish branch this was my commit here is the second job run deploying my artifacts to the target workspace so now this workflow is running whenever there is a push on the workspace publish so I, I know that this push will occur when the ARM templates are generated when I hit that publish button to generate the ARM templates into that publish branch so now that uh, Synapse workspace deployment is finished and our job is complete I'm going to my UAT environment just refreshing studio here and here it is my my second SQL script and using github actions and and workflows will allow you in github will allow you to use the workspace deployment task to deploy your changes from a lower environment to a target environment let us know your thoughts and share your ideas tips and tricks in the comments below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe our channel Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.